Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes This is going to be a relaxation slash sleep recording. There will be two versions, one with, one without music. The one with music will be, uh, the music will be provided by Kevin McLeod. And the details will be in the description box of the podcast episode. If you're listening solely for relaxation, I would suggest you set your alarm to wake you up, because you may just get really bored and fall asleep. And you may think, we may wonder, well, what's the difference? between a relaxation session and a sleep session. And the more time I spend making these recordings and uh, having done it for over 15 years making relaxation sessions and sleep sessions the fact is there's not really a lot of difference it's more a case of with a sleep recording I'd be talking about falling asleep With a relaxation recording, I'll be talking about relaxing. Yet the result would still possibly be the same with a relaxation session as with a sleep session. Where you get deeply relaxed and you fall asleep. And part of the benefit of listening to me talking softly about feeling relaxed and notice that when you are relaxed there comes a point where the more relaxed you feel the sleepier you naturally will feel So I guess there's the, there's a thin invisible line between feeling completely relaxed and almost, you know, perhaps ready to get on with the rest of the day calmly happily and the feeling of just drifting and 
I suppose that could be the difference between uh, relaxing with your eyes closed, relaxing with your eyes open, is, I suppose that when your eyes are open and you're relaxing, You're much more on the awake side. But once you close your eyes, in a way, you've sort of told your body and your mind. that sleep really is a possibility because you know you close your eyes as part of the sleeping process even more so if you was to lie down on your bed and close your eyes the chances of falling asleep increase even more Because you're in a sleeping position. You may not be in your specific sleeping position as as far as maybe lying on your left side curled up or your right side curled up with one leg over the duvet. That's how I like to go to sleep. So if you're listening for the, to this for sleep, instead of perhaps lying there like a, a statue waiting to be varnished, <laughs> maybe relax a bit more. And allow yourself just to get into that position where you feel the most comfortable, where you feel the most relaxed. And I know you can get these foam mattresses that literally have kind of leave your imprint of your body in them, you know, but just even a normal bed, a standard bed, has a memory and your body has a memory and of course your muscles have a memory so when you do sort of maybe turn for example I, I turn onto my left side when I go to sleep and I have a few different hand positions sometimes I'll have my hand my right hand, you know, sort of near my chest, sometimes I put it down more towards my legs. It depends how I feel. And sometimes I chop and change until I'm satisfied with the comfort level that I'm experiencing at that time and that seems to give a it's like the green light as it were you know it seems to give the green light for my mind and my body to just relax that 
extra bit to push me over that invisible line into sleep. So you may, you may wish to try or not try, maybe just do exactly that and just get yourself into your sleeping position remembering that you don't have to stay in that position because of course you're not a statue waiting to be varnished and you may wonder why would someone want to varnish a statue and why would it be lying on a bed wouldn't that mess the bed up with the varnish yeah probably that's not really the point the fact is that you can relax naturally by being natural. By just being yourself and doing what you naturally do. means just means that you can allow nature to take its course it makes everything flow you know there's something really I was going to say special uh, but maybe without romanticizing it there's something really useful about a pipe with water going through it that doesn't have any blockages so that the water flows or a river can flow through without rocks and trees blocking it of course sometimes it's good to have those blockages sometimes it's good to have a tree and a river blocking it slowing the river down maybe moving the river into a different direction which needed the water Again, nature taking its course. Or, you know, sometimes we can take advantage of those techniques that nature provides. For example, a fallen tree in a river. It's just nature happening. The water's flowing through the river nature, the tree, nature eventually falls down like all trees will eventually maybe, well not all but you know, maybe not for hundreds and thousands of years but some trees fall down into a river So it might block the river. And as observers, you know, back in nature when we were sort of learning these things maybe thousands of years ago, realizing that actually benefits come from that, it might slow the water down. That could be, might not be a benefit, but it might be. The tree going across could 
There was a bridge, so you could walk across the river. The blockage of the water could push the water onto land. Moving that water to a place where the water is needed. To farm ground. So people could grow things. Without having to travel miles to collect the water. So there's those benefits. And because your mind knows and recognises unconsciously as well as consciously sometimes the benefits of making use of sometimes things that may not immediately seem beneficial at the time could in fact allow you to make use of those things in order to improve your own life and improve your own sleep and relaxation. So although having that flow, the natural flow of moving from relaxation to sleep, You've also perhaps got that tree across that flowing river of consciousness. Could almost be as a marker. To remind you where that point is between relaxing deeply and sleeping deeply. You may not care about that marker you may not even need to know where that is, where that line is. But I guess sometimes it could be useful so that you know that you're getting closer. So that you can get to appreciate the very slight differences between feeling really relaxed and drifting off to sleep. It can feel slightly different. Yet, perhaps, very similar. And it is nice to have the options to choose which direction you go. Because when you've got a choice to relax deeply or to relax deeply and drift off to sleep, when you've got that choice, it reduces your stress levels in your mind because there's no longer any pressure
because you just go with how you feel. Because you automatically know what is correct for you. And that's, I guess that's something that can be enjoyed. It's one of those, you know, it's almost like a really, really simple, simple pleasure. Like laughing or smiling because there's a degree of confidence comes from being able to choose what you do next Not just being able to choose, but actually realising that you always have the power to decide what it is that you do next. And for some people, they would take that as all its responsibility, which it is, it's responsibility, but we've always been responsible for ourselves, whether we like it, whether we admit to it or not, we are responsible for our own happiness, for our own relaxation, and for your own sleep, for your own well-being and health. That's your main job, is to take care of yourself, to be kind to yourself. And part of that being kind to yourself is regularly taking time to get in touch with the core of your being and relax. as well as allowing, choosing to drift into a deep sleep. Knowing that when you are asleep, your body and your brain heals Your brain is healing and your body is healing, regenerating, recuperating, whatever word you want to use, I like the word heal. Your mind is healing. In fact, you could go further and say that actually, when you relax deeply, whether you're asleep or not, when you're deeply relaxed, you're actually healing your life. You're healing. 
healing the past, you're healing now, and you're sending healing energy into your future, ahead of you, to clear the way, to clear away any negativity, so that you can feel calm and positive. Whenever you think about the future, you can feel a sense of optimism and happiness, actually. You can feel when you think of the future from now on with that healing energy traveling forward, clearing away any negativity, making that path bright and clean perfectly shaped so that you could mold it to your will so the future can be what you wish it to be so your future can and will be what you decide for yourself and when you think about that have an emotion which we don't normally call this an emotion but it's almost like a new feeling a new emotion I'm going to call this a smile a smile when you think about the future you can feel that smile internal in your mind, in your brain, in your future and in your body. A smile when you think about your future. It's almost like a new feeling a new emotion, a mixture of optimism, a mixture of excitement for the future, for what will be, confidence, love and healing. gratitude and ultimately something to look forward to a purpose something to build towards those feelings and emotions connected together to create a smile when you think about the future that sense of knowing that things are going to be really really good smile can 
connected with feeling relaxed, deeply relaxed. And when you drift off to sleep, down so quiet because no matter what's going on inside your mind if you just think of that smile everything becomes peaceful Because that smile is bright, positive, full of love and healing. Instantly relaxing your mind and your body. Instantly filling you up with love, gratitude and healing, self-love, self-appreciation. So relaxed, so very deeply relaxed, so tired, so your mind.